In forced convection, fluid movement results from external sources. For example, a fan pump or the action of a propeller. It is typically used to increase the rate of heat transfer at a surface in cooling or heating applications. In cases of mixed convection, that is, natural convection and forced convection occurring together, you can determine how much is due to forced convection and how much is due to natural convection. The relative magnitudes of the Rayleigh, Prandtl and Reynolds numbers indicate which form of convection dominates. Thermal radiation is the emission of electromagnetic waves from all matter that has a temperature greater than absolute zero and represents a conversion of thermal energy into electromagnetic energy. It is generated by the thermal motion of charged particles in matter which results in charge acceleration and dipole oscillation. This drives the electrodynamic generation of coupled electric and magnetic fields which cause the emission of thermal radiation. Electromagnetic radiation or light does not require the presence of matter to propagate and travels the fastest in a vacuum. All forms of matter emit radiation. For gases and some semi-transparent solids, emission is a volumetric phenomenon. That is, emission is an integrated effect of local emission throughout the volume. For most solids and liquids, radiation that is emitted from the interior molecules is strongly absorbed by adjoining molecules. Therefore, because all of the emitted radiation originates from molecules near the surface, it can be considered as a surface phenomenon. We will not go into details of radiation modeling in this course. Now we will see how to set up a heat transfer model in STAR CCM+. First, we go to select model in physics continua. In that, after selecting basic flow models and material model like ideal gas, we come across energy model selection. Within energy model, we can select any heat transfer model we want. This will include convection and conduction models and the additional models section also include radiation models. Various turbulence models are available in STAR CCM+. Three basic approaches to modeling turbulence are available in STAR CCM+. Models that provide closure of the Reynolds averaged Navier-Stokes or RANS equations, Spalat Almaris, K Epsilon, K Omega, Reynolds stress transport come under this category. Second is large eddy simulation. Under this we have Smagorinsky subgrid scale. Whale model. This is a detached eddy simulation. Most simulations will rely on the first approach. The second two approaches LES and DES are best used after carefully reviewing the applicable literature to gain confidence that the grid resolution requirements can be met and that the computational costs incurred by resolving the small time and length scales are indeed justified. Two methods are available to select the turbulence modeling approach. Using auto select without using auto select. Here we will see how to use auto select. This is the default mode of selection and is indicated by the auto select recommended physics models checkbox being ticked. The selection of the turbulent radio button in the viscous regime group box will automatically select turbulence models that provide closure of the Reynolds averaged Navier-Stokes or RANS equations as a turbulence modeling approach. To select the turbulence modeling approach without using auto-select, first 
select the viscous regime. Then in the turbulence group box select the radio button corresponding to the appropriate turbulence method. Depending on your selection you will now be able to select a RANS turbulence model, a subgrid scale model for large eddy simulations or LES or a turbulence model for detached eddy simulation. The result for the SST K Omega model is shown. In between the lamina and turbulent flow regimes lies the transition flow regime. What is transition? The term transition refers to the phenomena of lamina to turbulence transition in boundary layers. Three primary modes of transition typically involve natural transition in which a lamina boundary layer subjected to weak disturbances becomes linearly unstable beyond a critical Reynolds number at which tall mean sleeting waves start to grow. Bypass transition The process of transition in response to large disturbances outside the boundary layer typically free stream turbulence levels in excess of 1%. Separation induced transition in which separation of the lamina boundary layer induces transition. For simulation of such transition flow we need a transition flow model. What is this transition flow model? A transition model is a model that can be combined with a turbulence model to predict the onset of transition in a turbulent boundary layer. Transition models are necessary because turbulence models themselves cannot be relied upon to predict the onset of transition. In STAR CCM Plus, two methods are currently available to account for transition. The Turbulence Suppression Model a model that allows the user to mimic the effect of transition by suppressing the turbulence in a certain predefined region. The gamma re theta transition model, a correlation based model that is coupled with the SST K omega model to provide a true predictive capability.